Former home of the Grand Ole Opry, Ryman Auditorium welcomed its 229th and 230th member, Gary Muledeer and Henry Cho. They were welcomed in by Mary Stewart, a 30-year member and musician, on January 6th of this year. Our Juliana Alford has more on South Dakota native Muledeer. Gary Muledeer was born in Deadwood, South Dakota to Bruce and Lola Miller. He grew up near Spearfish, South Dakota on a ranch. Gary graduated from Spearfish High School and would later attend Black Hill State University for five years. I've been, uh, I tried every job I could find and the last one was, was working with a partner in the middle of the winter with a pick and shovel digging graves at the cemetery and thought there's got to be something better than this. So I took a guitar lesson in uh, Rapid City from a guy named Ken Stone, I remember that. He taught me four, car, four chords. And I uh, just started working places when I re wasn't really ready to start, but it turned out fine. Been work it's been since 1959, I think, when I started, yeah. He describes himself as a comedian musician. He started out by playing music, and after his first performance, he started to add in comedy. Kind of had a, uh, an accident in the middle of my first song, playing my first job. So I stopped and told a joke, and that worked. So from then on, I've been doing kind of both. Left a little shrapnel. Mule Deer's first song he learned to sing and play was Johnny Cash's Big River. Johnny Cash was a big influence on him. One of Mule Deer's guitars has been around with him since 1977. When he appeared on David Letterman years ago, he first asked Cheryl Crow to sign his guitar, now in 2023, he has the entire back filled with autographs from different guitar players and artists. Gary had his first performance at the Opry in 1993 and was invited to perform by Roy Acuff. With a purple heart and a monkey on his back. Gary has had over 150 appearances and he regularly does shows at the Opry. Marty Stewart, who is a 30 year member of the Opry, under the guise of doing, being the host of a new show, they were going to call it Comedy at the Opry, they asked me and another comedian, Henry Cho, to sit and do a Facebook Live thing. Well, it was all a setup. And we were sitting there and we answered questions to Marty. And finally, at the end, he said, by the way, the family of the Opry would like to invite you to join. Mule Deer said that being inducted into the original Grand Ole Opry, the motherhood of country music, makes it more special for him. He said to stand where people like Hank Williams and the other 220 other people stood is an honor. Gary Mule Deer will be formally inducted March 10th of 2023. So often remembered so many times.